Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video, and I've actually did this video on my other channel, Morris Man 64, and I thought it was important to put it on this channel because I got a comment from one of my subscribers, Dennis, how you doing? And Dennis' comment reads this, I like your videos, but I can't see your finger placement. And the reason why this video is going to be very important because of this reason. The videos that I post as far as the covers with the chords on them, uh, they're for the purpose of me providing you the chords. Uh, don't get caught up in watching my hands because I stress this many times and I say it again. You would not become a good guitar player watching somebody's fingers on the Internet. Uh, if you don't know why their fingers are there, it's not going to help you. That's why it's important to know what you're doing as far as chords and uh this is not a plug to sell my dvds but they're really important if you haven't purchased some dvds one through six close to six hours of me walking you through what you need to know how to play the songs you want to play and it's really important that you study these these dvds because uh i've been a part of the music industry for about close to 30 years i've been a professional musician close to 25 27 years and uh these videos are very important because they have a wealth of knowledge, you know, for only $35. That includes shipping and handling. And I walk you through things that you need to know to become a good guitar player. And I bypass the stuff that you don't need to know because I'm sure just about everybody out there can uh, testify to this statement. That they've tried to take lessons and the stuff that they were taught by music teachers just didn't get them to where they wanted to go and that's basically you just want to learn how to play the songs that you hear on the radio you know that's usually reason why people you know first start to try to take lessons they like what they hear and they want to play it and my dvds you know they cut through the chase you know i don't teach you stuff that you never use or it's not important to you and i only teach you stuff that you can immediately start to use and apply to play your favorite songs because here's one of these debates uh, you need to know what key you're in to play a tune. That's absolutely false. If you got the chords in front of you and you know how to play them, you just play the chords. You know, there's no need to know what key you're in if you know the chords. You know, I don't know, abide by that. I know there's 12 keys, different keys. And if I got the chords in front of me as far as sheet music, you know, I don't need to know what key I'm in unless I'm kind of doing some uh, improv jazz stuff. And that's the only time that you would really need to know what key you're in because jazz guys basically work within a key. You know, uh, they say this is the key of A flat, and then you just go to town. They just let you loose. It's, in most cases, I'm not scripted, especially the stuff in the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. You know, so uh, don't uh, get caught up into where's his hands at. You know, get caught up into, okay, I see the chords across the screen. I know how to do play any of those chords because Morris Man taught me in my DVD. So I stress that because I know that we don't know what we don't know. You know, so uh, it's important for people to kind of help you along to say, don't focus on this, focus on that. You know, because, uh, you know, it's it's understandable when you haven't been trained to play that uh, you, you learn from observation watching. And there's nothing wrong with watching. You know, providing that you already kind of know how to play and you just need to visually see quickly as a reference as far as what is he doing or what inversion. But again, uh, I stress that uh, don't get caught up into watching my hands because, you know, the way that the camera is set up, it's hard to watch my hands anyway. And if I'm moving fast, even with a close up, you can't see what I'm doing. So don't focus on where the hands are going. Focus on those chords across the screen. And you ask yourself, can I play those chords? And can, can I play them in an inversion that Morris Man is playing them? Because I give you a quick, a quick example. If you can see this, this is G major 7. This is also G major 7. And uh, in the DVDs that I teach you, I teach you two inversions based on the red on the E string and the A string. And for the most part, just knowing these chords built on those two different strings and two different inversions, and yet they're still the same chord, just different inversion built on the root on a different string. Just that alone, the major, minor, minor, seven, suspended fourth, and I think a seventh chord, uh, just those five chords alone, if you know how to play those on two different strings, two different inversions, you can play 96% of the stuff on the radio. I kid you not. 
uh, you know, of course, there's going to be some different chords in there. But for the most part, most writers and groups, they, they kind of try to keep it simple. You know, just those basic chords as supposed to extremely exotic chords that perhaps an Andy Aria might use or perhaps Steely Dan might use. But for the most part, if you just focus on those two different inversions of my DVD lessons, I guarantee you'll be able to play what I'm playing because what I'm playing on all of these videos, and I get close to 3,000 videos combined on both channels, and I had more, but I took them down due to copyright issues. The majority of those songs are based just on those chords, you know, and that's it with the exception of a few. But I would say 98% of the stuff you see me play or hear me play or watch me play is derived from those chords, bar chords, and those one or two inversions. It's just that simple, you know. So, uh, again, I'm going to close out this video. But, again, it's important that you guys focus on the chords at hand and not where my hand's at. Because if you, you know, take my guitar course, you know where my hands are at because uh, I'm only playing either one or two different inversions. And, of course, you can glance at my hands again for a quick reference. But uh, I, I really stress that you not, what he, where is his hands at? What is he doing? You know, what, what finger is he doing down here or up here? Don't focus on that because uh, that's not going to make you a good guitar player. It's going to make you a dabbler. And you don't want to be a dabbler. You want to know what you're doing and why you're doing it. So, again, I'm going to close this video out. If you're interested in learning the right way instead of trying to watch somebody's fingers on the Internet, uh, I strongly suggest you invest $35 for close to six hours, six DVDs of me teaching you what you need to know to be able to become a good guitar player. I thank you and thanks for watching.